Hi everyone! Today I'm just going to do a really quick video answering a question that I get all the time and it's going to be really short but it takes me a long time to type this every time someone asks the question so that's kind of a sign to me that I should probably just do a video on it. Um, so that is the question of how do I get my letters to look like they're locking into place? Like when I write, I have asked if I'm using like a grid or something to get the letters to kind of lock into place. And I think you notice it more when I write really fast. So that is super, super simple. And that is the streamlined feature in Procreate. So I'm just going to show you now how to get there. And it doesn't matter what brush you're using. Um, it's the same on everything. You just click into whatever brush you choose and then click one more time and it's going to bring up these settings. The first one is spacing, the second one is streamline, and the next one is jitter. The second one that says streamline is what we are going to use. I first started hand lettering with the Procreate app. They didn't have this feature and it was really hard to get things perfect. Um, lettering wasn't that much different but you can just see like all the little jitters, even just drawing a straight line. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of just tell all the little, like it's just not that smooth. And there's another app, um, I think it's called Adobe Sketch, and they had this streamline type of feature. And so I, that was the only thing I liked about that app is that it just kind of smoothed out your lettering. I was really happy when Create added this to uh, one of their updates. So you can kind of do it at any percentage you want. If you're drawing really fast, it's a good idea to keep it down because it's almost like it's a magnetic pull. So if I'm drawing really fast, it's going to really change the way my letters look. But if I go a little bit lower here, it kind of just helps smooth out. This is on like 33%. It kind of just helps smooth out those jitters, but still allows you to um, have your real handwriting style. You can also do it all the way to the max, um, but I would just recommend that you draw really slow. This is actually kind of a controversial subject when you talk about hand lettering. A lot of people think that it's cheating to use the streamline feature. I don't know. I was lettering for a while on the iPad before this came out, so I understand um, it took a lot more practice to perfect lettering without this feature. But it's also a lot more efficient with it. Um, I used to take like hours to letter something that had like five words in it. So it's definitely uh, a time saver and really it just helps smooth out those jitters. So I definitely think it's good to practice without it so that you don't have a completely different style on paper versus on the iPad Pro. But I mean it's totally up to you. It's a really fun feature and it and it saves a ton of time. So um, that is how you use that, and I know that's so simple, I'm sorry that it's such a short video, but I seriously get so many people asking me this question, so I thought it would be helpful to make a video if you don't know how to use this feature. It's right there, streamline. You can As always, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.